All right, what's up guys? Today, I'm on a mission for meat. For the past three months living here, I've been going to Costco to re-up on my meat, but let me first start by saying that I'm only going to the grocery store to re-up once every two weeks, just about, because I stock up, I buy a bunch of meat. I found out Costco through me purchasing stuff and through my, my friends that Costco is really not even, it's actually the same price as the US, so the, why am I going there? There are much better alternatives. I used it as, you know, kind of a safe, comfortable thing when I first moved here, I already know what I want. I'm kind of on a diet, so I was like, I, I need this meat, I want this meat, I know where to get it, I know where to, they will have it for sure, I know it's open, it's safe, it's secure, you know, everything like that. So Costco is like just going there because it's super close too. But I've been referred to a couple different places for both my meat, and also vegetables. Cause I was getting a little bit of bulk vegetables there and the vegetables that I didn't get at Costco, I was getting from Lay right across the street, which is like a supermarket, which I have no problem. It's, I, I walk there, so that might still be where I get my vegetables from and small things, condiments and all that. But uh, for meat, we're gonna go on a mission today. So I did a little bit of research. I asked some people. First stop we're gonna check out is uh, El Florido, Flor Florido. Well, that's a tough one, Florido. It's like Florida, but with an uh, O oh, instead of an A. El Florido. There you go. It's hard to say that one soft. Florido. I think I'll get it. But let's go. Okay, so we're going to leave here uh, Zona Rio. There's two of them in Zona Rio. I did a little bit of research online just because I was kind of curious. I'm, I'm going there anyway. Nothing's going to stop me. One, I think there's two within a block of each other. One of them is super small and is everyone saying it's cramped and has terrible service. And then there's one called El Florido. Plaza Rio, which is the one we're gonna go to. So next stop, let's go. And so when you're looking for a meat market, it's called a carniceria. 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 So you can't call it. If you look, type in carne, it's gonna be like restaurants and whatnot. So looking for a carniceria. All right, so on my way to El Florido, uh, carniceria. It's like, a, I think it's a grocery store and it's like aborates y carniceria. But let's talk about pricing. So what I've been paying at Costco has been anywhere from, I wanna say 200 to 300 pesos per kilogram. So these are way different than dollars per pound. So, and then uh, that's for the steaks and for, uh, that's for the cheap steaks too. Those are for like the lean, um, like uh, I have round cut steak, like super lean, no carbs, no fat, stuff like that. Uh, Chick pachuga de pollo, chicken breast has been about, I think 179 pesos per uh, kilogram. So I'm gonna have that in mind walking into this store. And I'm looking for skirt steak or flank steak for tacos. Uh, any kind of lean cut steak I can use for any of my um, other beef recipes and of course, pachuga de pollo. And if I see something else, Yo, let's go. Video coming soon on Mercado Hidalgo, Hidalgo. I want to go in there badly, man. I think, wait, don't tell me this place is in there. But yeah, it's right over here in uh, Zona Este. And um, Carnival's in town, or the circus. Oh, that's a Medina Fuentes production, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, it looks pretty popping in there, huh? All right. Look, there it is right there. That purple sign, El Florido. That's where we're going, so. Pulling up, this is Mercado El Dalgo, right there. That's the next video. Maybe I'll go there today. Let's do it, let's go there today, two-part video, come on. All right, here it is. It even has its own water tower with a pig. I think that's their mascot. It's uh, there's an Herbalife, there's a KFC. There's Soy TJ, not sure what that is. There's Sonora, Sonora Labs. Some other dental, Laser La Pinata. Okay, interesting, interesting, all right. Oh, Soy TJ has a truck. It might be a, might be a food truck or something. Like the vibes, like the vibes. One second. I have this weird thing about filming. I don't want people to see me filming them, you know? So walking over here, first thing I see is the meat. And already I'm seeing, cause Costco, Costco bro had meat that was going up to 700 pesos per kilogram, bro. So look at this, we're, we're operating between 150 and 280. This is just for the res. Salud. And then we have more stuff up here. The most, the most I see is 300. This is good. This is looking good. Okay. New York's at 215. Okay. It looks like the average is about 215. 209. I don't see big packages though. Everything's pretty small. Okay. What do we got here? This is that thin cut. This is like the Tokogi's at Dos Senta. 
okay, okay. Oh yeah, everything here. Under a hundred pesos a kilogram, but oh, that's like bone. All right, just from that, I already got told not to film, but I just found something I want to show you. They got their whole carnitas y chicharrón section. Hey, check this out. Tortillas de maíz. Open this up. This is steaming. What? Oh, those roasted tomatoes, peppers. They got it all going back here. This is the real brains behind the operation. Okay, this is crazy. It's 179 at Costco. Pachuga de pollo. It's frozen. But damn, okay. All right, so final damage. I got more meat than I can carry, bro. This shit is actually pretty heavy. I got three of these packages of Pachuga de Pollo. These are like, yo, genetically modified, bro. They're huge. And there's like three or four of them in each bag. And then I got three of these, which weigh like two thirds of a kilogram each. So that was like uh, two, kilo, two and a half kilograms or so. And I ended up spending 750 pesos, which is $45. But here's the thing. I know Costco has Pachuga de Pollo for 179 pesos per kilogram this was 65 and this is about the same price but i don't know how i feel about that but for pachuga to pollo this is a no-brainer bro it's a third of the price i gotta see how it de defrosts and tastes but who knows man this might be the spot so uh, they do have a full produce there too so i'll be getting if i do come here for um the meats it only makes sense i gotta do a little more research on the on the this meat here because it seems like they only sell like flat thin cut which you know if i'm making like a lomo saltado that won't really do anything for me but Let's see. Another thing I'm still not getting used to in Mexico is, dude, you gotta carry change everywhere, bro. I'm about to, I have to, I got a discount on this ticket. They've uh, validated it, but now I have to leave this parking lot and I don't have any monedas, I don't think. So I got a freaking wheel and deal for freaking 10 cents trying to get out of this parking lot. All right, that was embarrassing, dude. This guy wouldn't let me out of the parking lot for five pesos. There's already a person behind me. I was like, yo, I'm looking around. I looked in all my bags and all my nooks and crannies in my car, couldn't find five pesos. It's my, totally my fault. You know, he provided a solution. He said, there's an ATM in there, a carajera, or a ca, cajera, something like that. I forget how to, how to say ATM in Spanish. But, uh, so I was like, oh my God. I, go, I went back in the parking lot. I, I reversed out. And then I was like, I'm not going to ask somebody for five pesos, bro. So I just went up to him like, yo, I'll get you next time, bro. I'll be here in two weeks. He's like, ah, two weeks? I'm like, yeah, I know. I come here two weeks, but I'm, I'll be here. So got, got done with that. But yeah, overall, El Florido. I mean, the Pachuga de Pollo, without a doubt, is without a shadow of a doubt, is a bargain. So I'm going to look at some other carnicerias. If you guys have recommendations on a different carniceria uh, near Zona Rio, I don't want to be, you know, traveling to Otay or Playas. You know, I like to stay pretty local here. I'm all ears, bro. So uh, good first experience. Staff was friendly, very friendly. Just bring money for the parking lot, as with every parking lot in TJ. I just seem to always forget that. I'm just, I'm just a card guy, bro. I love the points. I like to stack up my points, you know, for travel points and all that. But, uh, yeah, it's a very much an effectivo country. <laughs> One more thing I forgot to say. The selection of meats they have there is, is pretty large, but it's a lot of like the, I guess, non-traditional consumption parts of the meat. Like they got like stuff with like the bone, like they got the limbs with the bone attached and stuff like that. You know, stuff they probably use are good with like caldos or stews or um, what are they, menudo, I don't know, like all the soups and stuff, but that's probably what they use it for. But uh, if you want like a, a nice cut of steak for like searing and, and, and cooking, they only have like ribeyes in New York's, but they looked, I mean, they look good and they were like 225 pesos a kilogram, which I think is a pretty good deal for that because Costco, I think was operating at like 700 or 600 pesos per kilogram. So Costco, yeah. Um, if you want to get that eye around steak, I think it was a pretty deal. I think it was under 200 for a kilogram for a pesos for a kilogram, but that's about it, man. So, uh, and everything, I got some avocados. They ended up being four avocados with one kilogram and it ended up being 45 pesos for that. So like $3 for four avocados, bro. I swear, I swear in uh, the U S they're double that price. I think it's like three for two or two for three. So yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm pretty much going to stop going to Costco unless I need, I don't know. There's not even gas here. There's no Costco gas. So I might let my $50 a year membership lapse unless I have uh, some kind of use for it. Okay. I'm actually looking at this right now. Pachuga was 142 pesos a kilogram. So still a way better deal over at El Florido, but the Milanesa is only 131, 132 pesos per kilogram versus 
This was one ninety nine. Okay, so hold on a second. Costco. And then Molito de Reyes, which was the ground beef, four hundred and thirty. I need to go to Costco again to check these prices because I don't remember seeing. I would never pay four hundred and thirty eight pesos per kilogram of ground for ground beef. The salmon was yeah. I don't know if this is correct on here. I got to check at Costco again. Whoa! It smells potent in here. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> but now I'm kind of tripping because if Costco, the carne, the carne was like way cheaper, but the ground beef was way more expensive. We need to do an in-person visit to Costco. I don't trust the receipts right now. We're gonna go to our second uh, grocery store, which is our second part of our sample size. We're gonna go to Lay. We have information from two, from, I mean, from one, maybe two sources, but let's go check out Lay. If Lay is comparable in pricing to El Florido, man, I'm not gonna get in my car and drive. What do you expect me to do? Next stop, Lay. Let's go straight to the meat department. Here's the vibe here. They have like clothes. You know, it's kind of depressing when you first, first ever get here. But after you come here a few times, it actually starts becoming less depressing and because they actually have a really decent selection of stuff. Like they have everything you possibly could need and more. And it's really fun for me to experience new grocery stores and the type of, uh, items they have let me see if i can for example i mean just look at this wall of seasonings and nuts and everything and mole poblano different types of queso all the salchichas quesos jamon so let's go where's this meat yeah panaderia they have a tortilleria so you get your bread here fresh every day or you get your tortillas over there fresh every day and tortilla chips totopos I got so excited to tell you guys about the S tier produces they have in Mexico that I walked right past the carne section. Okay, so Popa Negra, it's 20 pesos cheaper over at uh, <laughs> El Florido. Oh, Paleta de Res Sinuelo is 169. That's pretty cheap. I mean, here you go. Pechuga de Pollo is 64. Man, I'm just going to go here. Okay, 24. Bro, this is so cheap. You can get a bunch of ribs. You can have such a fat barbecue. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my gosh, this pork? A lomo de puerco. Damn, okay. Why was Costco selling this shit for 141 a god damn? Yo, look at this offer. This is just over a dollar per kilogram of that thigh meat. Of the muslo nacional. Oh, this is a deal, bro. Okay. And this is what I was talking about when I said interesting parts of the animal you know like what's that tripa and uh pata <laughs> all right there's some more pulpa negra 219 pesos a kilogram 192 for the pulpa larga so what i'm coming to see here is that 179 for the sirloin okay dude yeah i'll just come here for my meats and stock up before i 100 percent make my decision i'm gonna have to stop in costco one more time to check because right now what I'm seeing is all the meats, I mean all the meats that are worth eating, in my opinion, are around the 200 peso mark per kilogram. And dude, if I remember correctly, New York's and strips over there were like 600 and 700. Um, without a doubt, chicken is way cheaper here. Um, Cause I remember from Costco, 140 or 160. And it's here, it's 65 pesos, but it's frozen, it's not like, it's not frozen over there, so I gotta figure that out how it defrosts first before making any final decisions, but right now it's looking like um, walking across the streets easier, man. That Costco membership might be gone. Uh, I, I don't know if I gotta go to US often enough to keep it. And there's no gas here. Gas, that was my go-to thing, Costco straight up. All right, so what's the verdict here? Verdict is, if you live in Mexico, if you're a gringo, don't be scared of places like these little grocery stores, you know? Uh, the prices are better from for what I can see for the most part. I'm gonna still check out Costco one time, but I was comfortable with Costco, so that's where I went, but uh, produces for sure are way better, meats. Yeah, um, if you guys have any more recommendations on places I need to check out, because I am an avid cooker every day, man. I'm cooking every day. I prep out, I cook for my buddy. So stock up on the meats, the lean meats. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.